New Haven police are not saying if that arrest in Bridgeport is one of the guys they're looking for, but they also say they aren't ruling it out yet either. Here's what happened in New Haven. Two men came into that gas station on Fulton and Forbes Avenue. It happened last Monday. 38-year-old Sanjay Patel was shot and killed. Now, there was a similarity in both murders. A car was somewhat a peculiar color. Look at that. It's a mint green Ford. New at 6 tonight. News Ace Jason Newton went back to the scene in New Haven today and spoke to that expecting mother who will not be raising her child without his father. He's live in New Haven tonight. Jason. Darren, while police haven't publicly made the connection in these two cases, sources confirmed to News 8 that the two suspects from the Bridgeport case are related or connected to the killing of a store clerk here in New Haven, and that family is still reeling from the loss. An arrest doesn't do much to ease the suffering of a grieving yeah, widow. Yeah. She's so distraught that she can't even watch news coverage without breaking down into tears. I never see you, nothing, watch, nothing. Someone tell, then I go back and I cry. Chivada's husband, Sanjay Patel, is memorialized inside their New Haven apartment, not far from where he was shot and killed during a robbery last week at the Sitco gas station where he worked. A nearly identical murder happened Saturday in Bridgeport, and arrest warrants were issued for Leighton Vanderberg and Tracy Lopez in that case. I just want to ask to them why they killed my brother. Everyone loves my brother. He never, nothing do anything wrong. Why they killed for my big brother? While neither New Haven or Bridgeport police will confirm any connection between the Bridgeport arrest and the New Haven murder, sources tell News 8 that in fact the two cases are related. But the focus for Patel's family is with his wife and who will take care of her once the family returns to their home countries after the funeral. She's currently seven months pregnant with their first child, and to make matters worse, she's unable to work after a devastating house fire injured her legs and hands with severe burns. Then what's going to happen to my brother's son and his wife? To them. And now once again, 18-year-old Tracy Lopez of New Haven is still on the loose. 22-year-old Leighton Vanderberg is actually locked up right now in the Whaley Avenue Correctional Facility after he was arrested early this morning on an unrelated charge out of New Haven. Both men will face felony murder charges. We're live in New Haven tonight. Jason Newton, News 8.